Hey, you're watching Volgora's videos, and in this episode, I'm going to do a video review on the Pixter. Yeah. Yes, this is a very a cheaply made device th that debuted in 2003, I think, maybe 2002. I don't think it was as late as 04, but I think it was 03. Um, this big lunk of plastic takes four AA batteries. Um, touch screen, in case you didn't notice. Silas. And then, if you actually had the money to buy cartridges, you can buy games for this. Because, oh no, it's, it wouldn't be cool if it came with the games. Even if I bet they're not even five kilobytes. But yeah, they go in that thing. And then you can play your games. But if you don't have that, you're just stuck with drawing. Um, you have a speaker there, power switch, contrast. And so let's turn this powerhouse load of crap up. So there it goes. Pixter. And so basically, you have like a dashboard on here. One's like for drawing. One's for making lines, one's for making shapes, one's for stamps, which works probably the best thing out of everything. One's for deleting, like clearing screen. See right there? Makes noise. Uh, this thing, you can save and up upload your files. Except you can only save one file at a time. If you save another one over it, it, over, it saves over it. And there you can check, you can turn on your volume so you don't. People don't hear you screwing around in class or whatever. This is the ultimate annoyance tool. Let me tell you, nothing's more annoying than a Pixter. And then if you go to your home button, you can do free drawing, drawing on uh, background things like in scenarios, uh, drawing on faces, and the worst thing, connect the dots. Now, you must be pretty dumb to play connect the dots on something that's well digital. Connect the dots is like for kindergartners that eat the crayons. So yes, that's the picture. Oh, let me just show you how bad the resolution is. This is like as this is about as bad as a original Game Boy. Just because it has a big screen does not matter at all. Cause look, okay, if you if you were a real master, I guess you can you could do this. But that really does not matter at all. Let's see, okay. One little dot. Can you see a little dot? Okay, that dot was one little dot. I mean, it spells like YouTube. This thing is really, really bad. See that? And I have good handwriting usually. Pretty good, decent handwriting. And that looks like I was drunk and I was high on crack. I mean, it's it's horrible. Um, yeah, so basically it's like technology out of, out of one of those credit card screens that you have to sign your name with a stylus that they have those day, these days. Basically one of those and a two-inch thing of plastic with a speaker. So yes, if you see this in a fast cash pawn shop thing, just bypass it. Just walk away. It'll be fine. Some 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 other person with a lower IQ than you will buy it. If you buy this thing, you are definitely well, you're not gonna learn it, earn any smartest person of the week awards anytime soon. I got it because I didn't know any better and I was twelve. What else? Okay, the pros. Good things about it. Mm, it's heavy. So if you are mad at someone you can, and chuck it across the room, it will really, really hurt. Um, what else is good? Well, you could use it as a battery storage device. Okay, never mind. Do not do that because then you'd probably waste batteries even if you don't turn it on. Um, hey, maybe you can mod it. Maybe you could, you could uh, pull out these screws and mod it to an MP3 player. That would be awesome. Have a touchscreen MP3 player. Sure, I wouldn't be able to play photos or anything, but 
hey, you could, I don't know, that'd be awesome. Because uh, then you'd have your own built-in speaker on there. And another con, you have a stylus, so if you lose your stylus on your DS, cut that string off, and you'll have another stylus. But hey, you know what? This is kind of rough, so it'll probably scratch up your screen. So maybe you shouldn't do that. Cons. Oh, I don't know. It's freaking thick. It's expensive. The resolution is worse than... What? Worse than the Atari? Worse than what a, dr a drunk guy could draw a, p a picture? That's pretty bad. Um, it was expensive, and there's no reason you should buy this. So this is Volgora. Stay tuned for more, and let me rem remind you: just because it, just because you thought it was cool back then, doesn't mean it was cool now, or even cool at all. That's Volgora. Stay tuned for more. Zing.